And that brings us to what are the odds as we take a look at next season's odds to win the NBA title. Lakers are the favorites, of course, followed by the Clippers, the Bucks, the Warriors, and the Nets, who are 9 to 1. So, a $100 bet on Steve Nash's guys will get you 900 bucks. They win it all. How come the Knicks aren't on that graphic? Just wondering. Uh, off the board. I think we know. Uh, so, Eamon, unlike the Knicks, the Nets actually have some shot at winning a championship with KD and Kyrie on the court. 9-1 to one odds on them winning that title, as we mentioned. Do you really think they have a good chance to win it all? Oh, you slept good. You snuck good in I did. Uh, yeah, good? No. Chance? Yes. I mean, look, let's remember, it's been a long time since we've seen him play basketball in the NBA. Kevin Durant is one of the top three players in the league if he's healthy. So I think once you have Kevin Durant in your starting lineup, you have a chance. I think the East is wide open. We just saw a Jimmy Butler-led Miami Heat team go to the NBA Finals. So I think if you combine Kyrie Irving, with Kevin Durant and a nucleus that has been to the playoffs. Albeit we have to see how they play together with a brand new coach. I think they could get to the NBA Finals and then anything happens. Again, this is based on Durant being healthy and being one of the top three players in the league. Uh, you know, listen, I agree with you. I would give this a puncher's chance. I wouldn't bet on it, but to be honest with you, with that level of talent, if they get in the playoffs and they are cohesive, and those are big ifs, they have the talent to go on a run. But I don't trust Kyrie Irving to be part of a cohesive unit on this team. I don't trust him to go along with Steve Nash, who we call now a colleague as opposed to his coach. And we don't know what Nash is as a coach yet. Now, he has all the credentials to be a great coach. But, Eamon, how many times have we seen players who have these credentials turn out to not be good coaches? We saw it with Jason Kidd in the Nets. Um, so I, I can't trust that this is going to happen here, Eamon. I have a thousand percent. Like I said, I said it's a chance, not a good chance. Now, I think Steve Nash has an incredible basketball IQ, as did Jason Kidd, as did most likely uh, Derek Fisher. I think he's walking into a great situation here. I think they're going to get on the same page with Durant, Irving, and Nash. Obviously, Steve, uh, Steve Nash is here because Kevin Durant wanted him. So I think they'll work that out. I think the bigger question is how those two big-time superstars blend in with the rest of the supporting cast that's never played with them yet. You know, obviously, Irving was hurt, uh, uh, banged up last year, so it's dribs and drabs of, a, uh, of seeing them on the court together with the Karis Leverts of the world and Jared Allens of the world. I think that's going to be the biggest question for Steve Nash, getting the rest of the supporting cast involved with Durant and Irving. And I got to tell you, the Heat, they may not have the same talent as the uh, Nets, but they are a cohesive unit with a great culture under Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra.